you've just got to see this. So I don't usually do videos like this where it's just footage of the printer printing in a time lapse, but this was just too cool to pass up. I've been working with the Prusa MMU2 multi-material unit for a little while, and I think I finally got it dialed in. Although it is setting just right over there, and I don't want to say that too loud because it might hear me and change its mind. So the video quality isn't that great. The colors are a little bled out. It is with a webcam, but I didn't want to just do a time lapse of the model. I wanted to do a time lapse of what the spools are doing while it's switching out all the different filaments. So let's not waste any more time. Let's check this out. And here he is. Let's take a look. I only had one issue during the print, and that was with the orange filament, where it started the bottom of the letters on his shirt. I came down and the MMU was paused, and I had to redo the filament. But after that, everything worked fine. You can see how it does the supports when it's using the multi-material as well.
supports are off, and Mini Joe has never looked better. The MMU2 is definitely not perfect, and it could use a few tweaks to make it easier to use, but I do believe that Prusa Research is already working on the next rendition of firmware. One of the biggest challenges I have with the MMU2 is finding the space to use it. With the printer, all the Bowden tubes, and five spools of filament, that's a lot of real estate, and you definitely don't want to move it around. Also, the time that it takes to do a multicolored print. This gecko is a little oversized. It is three color, but it took six and a half hours to print. After everything is all said and done, it is definitely worth the time and effort. These are some of the coolest models that I've ever seen, and this is my new favorite all-time 3D print. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.